Yo, 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 what is up, y'all? King Fan 2002 back at it with another video. And as y'all can tell, this is my haul video for GFest 28. And this is my seventh haul video that I've put up on this channel. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. No name tags, no booklets, nothing. Let's get right into the first buys. So as soon as the dealer's room opened, I had a plan to get to YMSF's table to get four items. So one of those items happens to be the YMS, uh, the YMSF Gabra. Got him. Now let me show y'all the other things that I got him with. Next, I got him with the YMSF Flying Hedora and the Godzilla that comes with it. And then uh, finally, um, this is one of the ones that I was really looking forward to getting. Uh, where is he? Uh, there he is. I didn't attach the tail on yet, but it is the YMSF. Why am I tripping? The YMSF Final War Sedora. Yeah, really nice. I got all four of these for 157. And there was a little line that was by um, YMSF's table too. So I stuck there for like good like maybe around 10 minutes, but it was worth it. Um, so next up, I'm gonna show y'all um, this guy. So I, I got this guy for $60. It is the new Bandai Baron. Got him at Zen Toys for $60, not bad. That was the common price around the dealer's room. So I was like, all right, might as well just get it. So I'm gonna put him right there. Um, yeah, right there. Uh, next up, yeah, I got this on day one too. I got this at Showcase Dai Kaiju. It is the Bandai Final Wars Minya for $80. It's damn near mint condition. Finally got this figure after so long putting it off that now it's mine. So really cool, really dope. I'm gonna put him, put him next to Gabra. <laughs> Come on, if I can get him to stand. All right, there we go. Um, okay, another figure that I got on day one. Day one, I really banked out. I got the six inch Bandai Eliking. I've had the Ultra 500 series version for like the past five years. So finally glad to have the six inch version. Um, really cool, really cool for $15. Uh, put them right there. Um, this figure was one of the last ones that I got, um, in the whole convention, um, got this on Sunday at Showcase Daikaiju for $50. It is the pink tag variant of the Bandai Section Mecha King Adora. Um, I've been needing this for years now, and I finally got it, um, had the 8 inch, 12 inch, whatever, that version, uh, for like the past five years as well. I got this and <laughs> Goji Franklin made like a little bet saying that nobody in our group would get a Mecha King Adore figure of any sort and I guess I just had to be the one to break it so <laughs> there we go I'm gonna put them right there um who's next who's next oh yeah um this was the last uh purchase that I made at G-Fest it is the new Bandai Ebera for $35. Got him at the Beast of the East collectibles. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, really cool, really cool. This is a really dope figure. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. $35 is not bad. Um, put him, let's put Ebera right there. Another figure that I got from Beast of the East collectibles is the Bandai. Arc Belial, really, really nice figure. Got him for $40. Had to pick out the one with like the best legs because a lot of the legs were warped. And yeah, man, it's really cool, really cool. Big. Now I got two Belial figures in my collection. I just need to get uh, Kaiser Belial. You know, seeing them. Yeah. All right. Um, another figure from day one, got this at Claw Mark. 
It is the Marmot Space Giles. Comes with a like flying saucer, but I'm not gonna show that off right now. It's not even really that cool looking. But yeah, here's Space Giles. Would have the Space Giles in my collection now. Um, got them for seventy five dollars. I was gonna get this, um, or another Space Giles figure that Clawmark had, and I just opted to get this one. So yeah, another Safubi. And I think that's all I have left to show y'all is um the Safubi that I got. So first up, let me show y'all this. It is a new M1 figure, and it is the M1. Biolante, really, really cool. I'm digging the translucent green vinyl. Really dope figure, and they were selling it for 120. So I was like, all right, let me just snag this. And I did. Really cool, really cool. I'm gonna place her, place her right there. Yeah, right there, it's fine. And to continue the Biolante theme, uh, this was like the second purchase, I guess you could say, because I bought all four of those YMSF figures at the same time. So after that, I went to Radioactive Toys, and I was looking uh, at the Sufubi that they had, and I saw this figure all the way at the top. And I was like, all right, let me see what the price is. The other variant was a little too pricey for me at the moment. So I was like, all right, let me just get this other variant. And it is the Mondo Cherry Blossom Violante, man. Really, really cool. Got a, got her for 250. Really digging this figure. Finally, finally got me a Mondo in my collection. I'm glad to have it. Really building up my Spooby collection this year. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we got some of the last heavy hitters to show y'all. So I'll show y'all this. So this figure, I've been wanting this particular variant for like the past. I don't know, maybe like six, seven years, ever since I've seen it on the internet and on Club Tokyo. If you look at my other like G-Fest top 10 uh, most wanted figures and all that, this figure is on it like damn near every year. Never saw it, but this year I finally saw it at Clawmark Toys. Uh, I saw it since I was like helping them set up and all that. And saw it, it was originally 255, uh, but um, at first they offered 250 and I just stuck with the 250 because I, I've been helping them and then I also bought a few things from them. So that figure is the Marmot Hedora, the clear variant. I've been wanting this for so long and I'm finally, I'm stoked to have this man. Really, really cool. Added another Safubi Hedora to my collection. I've been sorting this out for years now. It's mine. Hella dope thing. I'm gonna put him back here. Bro, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Safubi is just works of art, man. If y'all don't have Safubi, I suggest y'all hop on that way. That's where it's at for me at the moment. Um, so next up, I think this is the, yeah, this is the only figure that I bought on Saturday, right? This is the only figure I bought on Saturday. Uh, I got this at Chibi Goji Toys for $225. This is a big boy. I got the Marmot Vinyl Wars Shin Godzilla. This guy is massive. This guy is just, yo, I don't even know I'm a fiddle. <laughs> but really, really cool. Really, really dope figure. Look at him, man. Uh, 225, not bad at all. My boy Gojira Zilla also picked up some Shin Gojira's for him and his brother Nathan at the same table. And I just happened to pick up this one. And yeah, man, really, really cool. So, so happy. And now these last two, this next one I'm gonna pull out is a, redemp is a redemption figure from last year. I seen it at this one table alongside like the Ballmark uh, Hedoras and all that. And when I went uh, back to the table to get it, it was gone, I was kind of mad. But this year I saw it again. It was, I actually saw a few of them around in the dealer's room. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yeah, it's mine now. So without further ado, let me pull them out. 
It is the Bone Mark Aurora Mecha Godzilla 70, I think it's 75, 74, correct me if I'm wrong. Might be 75, but yeah, either way, it's an Aurora Bone Mark Mecha Godzilla. Really, really cool. This is the exact new variant that I wanted. Got it for 170. Really nice. Really, really nice. So I'm gonna put him, let's put him right here. All right, he's visible. All right, and the last figure, I saved this for last because this is probably one of my favorite figures in my entire collection now. And it's my favorite figure that I got in this year's haul. As Chibi Goji Toys, uh, I think it's like the first, uh, the first time I ever stopped there this year. And as soon as I saw him up on the top shelves, I'm like, all right, bro, I gotta get this. And I got there so early to the point where they didn't have like pricing on it yet. So I had to like wait a little, wait a little. I kept on circling the table back to like see what the pricing was on them. And then um, actually, I'm tripping. I'm not gonna get to that yet. Let me show you what else I got. I almost forgot about this guy. <laughs> My bad, y'all. So Maru-san was actually there. They had their own little table. And I saw a few neat things, and this one stick, uh, st stood out to me the most uh, for $200, but um, I got taxed to $228 because of the uh, gift cards that I was using at the time. I got the Marusan King Joe. Yeah. Hella, hella dope figure. Might review him. Really dope. Um, that's my third King Joe figure that I have in my collection now. So for 200, 228, whatever. Really cool. Put them next to the Mondo Violante. So it's pink on pink. Now, back to what I was talking about at Chibi Goji Toys. As soon as I saw them, I was wait, playing the waiting game. Finally came back. They gave me the price on them. It was originally, I think, 225, but 200 for me because I waited so long for it. It is the exclusive, I believe, a GFX exclusive. It is the Marmot Orga. Hell yeah. This is by far my favorite figure that I got this year. Um, I just love the various greens, metallic silvers on them. Just really, really cool. And let me show y'all why I like this figure so much. Watch this. Hell yeah, bruh. It's a glowy. My, I think this is my first and only glowy that I have in my collection. Really, really cool. Really, really cool, man, for 200. And I think I, I think it's safe to say that I bought out on Sufubi this year. Tell me if I did, tell me if I didn't. But yeah, man, the Marmot Orga, hands down, is my favorite figure that I got at this year's G-Fest. And that is my haul, guys. So let me just go through all these figures one more time for y'all. This is my G-Fest 28 haul. Really, really cool stuff. Whole bunch of Sofubi. And yeah, y'all, that is my haul. King Ghost Man 2002 signing out. Stay tuned for the next stuff.